Nathan here with the Fast Lane Car, and this is my daughter's 2016 Nissan Leaf. And we're at a racetrack. And the reason we're at the racetrack is because last time I was here, I smacked Roman around driving his Subaru Crosstrek, which was painfully, painfully slow. Haha! <laughs> oh. -ho. Okay, so he got a better start than I did, but it doesn't really matter. I had him for a second. You guys want more of this spray? Yeah. And there he goes. Come on, Subaru! So in this goofy drag race, I'm going to take and he's driving a retirement vehicle. Yo, read them and weep, dude. That is a painfully effeminate, very slow looking vehicle. One of which that has so many flaws that GM could barely unload 7,000 of them. Dude, I don't care. It's got 400 pound foot of torque for a spark. Yeah, but it's, a, okay. So. This is going to be an interesting drag race because I have about half that much torque and that car is smaller than mine. However, given the baboon that's driving it, I am not too terribly concerned about that considering Osteo is going to limit your ability to actually drive the vehicle appropriately. That thing is directly from Florida, literally from a retirement island. <laughs> Dude, you look like a 16-year-old girl driving that leaf. I feel like one. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the 2014 Spark EV. And I do mean 2014 because only in 2014 did GM, for some unbeknownst reason to me, put 400 pound foot of torque into that little car, which is more than, well, that's more than most Mustangs actually. Uh, and that's why I brought it because drag racing is about torque. So let me show you around. Under the hood you will find an electric motor and of course a regular battery. Now the cool thing about this little car is that not only is it quick, but it is also very light, well at least for an electric car. And it is blue. That's all there is to show. Don't look at the rest of it. All you need to know is 400. Hey uh, Roman. Yo. How big's the battery in this? 21 kilowatt hours. Yeah, mine's 30. So, even though it's got a lot of power, which is electronically limited because you can't have fun because you don't want to run the tires, which are, that yeah, the tires a whole other thing. I wanted to talk about the actual look of the vehicle. I normally like sparks, but not so much this one. And that's because when Roman got here and actually pulled up and got out of the vehicle, it was like an old man in Florida getting out of a retirement vehicle in a retirement community. And by the way, this was actually purchased from a retirement island in Florida. So it all works out great. He is literally ready for AARP and the old person's home. You know, Nathan, my car is a Tiffany blue, and you know what Tiffany does, right? Expensive jewelry. Your car, on the other hand, is the most depressing, the most ugly, the most dour, the most horrible excuse for a car. I mean, look at that thing. It looks like an electric Hearst. Angry old man. <laughs> I'm not an angry old man. I'm a young man ready to party with the rest of the parrot heads. All right, maybe I am like an angry old man. <laughs> All right, dude, are you ready to lose to the fearsome Sparky? Yeah, well, like more than twice the torque that I do, but I am going to give you a hell of a race. How fast do you think that this is from zero to 60? I've got the solo DL set up. I don't know, eight seconds? I'm gonna say it's quicker than that. I'm gonna say it's seven seconds. And guess what? I even have a sport mode, which I am now engaging. Oh, it's in sport mode, dude. I have a B mode, which means I'm calling you on your BS. Oh, I said that. <laughs> Alright, here we go. First time drag racing, fearsome Sparky. Alright, can't really pre-torque it because it won't let me do anything. Go! Oh, here I go. Here comes the torque. Bye-bye, Nathan. And I got a better takeoff than he did and he's pulling ahead. Oh, left it in the dust. I have 
107 horsepower like a 185 pound feet of torque, it's not much of a surprise. Well, I told you, like going backwards. It's not like going backwards. For the first like 20 feet, I totally had you. So, okay, all that torque and the fact that your car doesn't weigh as much as mine made a little bit of a difference. And by the way, you were right, zero to 60 in 8.1 seconds. And it will do that all day long because these are electric cars. But you know, I have a real problem with what you just did and I think I have a solution. So, uh, with the start line, what's your plan, dude? I'm gonna do a lap. You wanna do a lap? Yeah, why not? <laughs> You want to see which of these two is quicker around the track? Not only that, but I want to see how much we burn in terms of power. Right now it says I have 50 miles left. I have two. I have, 50, I have exactly 50 miles left. Uh -huh. So let's go around the track once, see how the time is, and also see how much we burned. So if Paul were here, right, uh, then a good lap time, well, a great lap time would be under a minute, and a bad lap time would be like a minute 15. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're not going to get anywhere near of, that. Of course, Paul is a former Stig on Top Gear USA, and he does, you know, hot or not. He weighs half as much as I did, too. We should say that as well. And he is a, race a proper driver. race car driver. Yeah. All yeah. right. All right. I'll start you, and I'll time you. Sounds awesome. All right. How much power do you think? Are we going to have enough power to get back to the office? That's that's another question. So, yeah, after this one lap, there's, yeah, there, there might be something else. We'll see what happens. All right. Okay, I'm in B mode. Away we go. My daughter's going to kill me. Now she added a lot of ballast to the vehicle. Thank you. And this thing actually handles okay. <laughs> We're still, I can hear all our stuff in the back rattling around. Now if Paul were doing this, we would hear the thunder of, let's say, a V8 engine or a straight six BMW, but yeah, nothing, just the sound of birds. It's a little weird. Not even tire squeal. The traction control comes along and will kill the fun, but what I notice is that if I shut the traction control off, it's not fully off, which is a problem. By the way, you may be wondering, why is the window open? Well, so I can breathe. It's actually really hot outside right now, and the air conditioner is no longer working. Yep, and because of that, um, <laughs> It blow, the fan blows, but I just having hot air blowing my face while I'm going around this lap, worrying about destroying my daughter's cute little car. <laughs> Is she gonna kill me? I wonder how quick he'll go. We're at uh, 37. Like I said, if he can break a minute 15, it'll be pretty good. A minute 21.38, 1.21.38. So let's go find out uh, how much juice you use doing that. All right, dude, now I said, if you could break 1.15, that's a good time. You think you broke 1.15? No, I don't think so. Yeah, read them and weep, dude. 1.21, okay, I, I, I knew it was, oh, come on, you know. And how much power 40, did you use? Uh, so 45, it was at 50, so, so five miles. You used five miles to go less than a mile. Yeah. All right, my turn. Air conditioning off. Why not? All right. Folks, you ready for this? It's going to be a screecher. You go fly. Here and we go. go. By the way, he was a little, I saw him move like a half inch off that line. Yeah, he's going to be a lot faster. That car's got way more power. Now, the crazy thing about this car is, even though it's got a lot of torque, it does have torque management. You can't get all 400 pound foot of torque at the beginning. Paul never lifts off your head. I do. Not that brave. Because it would just roast these tires. By the way, the tires are asymmetrical. So the ones in the rear are actually wider. The 195s, the ones in the front are 135s. It actually doesn't handle that badly. Now, if he rolls off, it shouldn't explode immediately. A lot of uh, batteries tend to get heated after a collision and then explode. So it's gonna take a while to get to him if he rolls off, which means explosion. So this could be a really good video moment. Keep that in mind. Uh, brakes are a little squishy. 
a little tail happy. It's a classic front wheel drive torquey vehicle. This was a Volkswagen that helped me lifting up wheel, but it's fun actually. It's a lot of fun. GM's put some uh, fun into this thing. All right, here we go. Come on, Sparky. 46, 27. Not overpowering the front wheels as much as I thought I would. Just trying to be nice and smooth. A little bit of a drift there. There we go, a little squeal. Coming around this turn. Come on, Sparky. Here we go. Down the straightaway where I could make use of all 400 pounds of torque. And here we go, full throttle. Come on. Come on, go, go, go. <laughs> that was interesting. Definitely interesting. Just we have a for posterity. Not surprised, I'm disappointed, but I'm not surprised. But I think I have a little something for him. <laughs> so you can get into this little hot rod here. <laughs> there you go. All right, what was it? 117! Yeah, sure. Woo! It's not much of a surprise because you have twice the torque. I mean, come on, and then it's lighter. Well, how much did you uh, chew away? Eight, eight miles of oh range. My God. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it was at fifty. I'm down to forty. I may have lost one thing, but I want another. I'm, I'll down, say to that. I'm down to forty-two, dude. I think I'll be. I think I'll be. You know, heading to the office on slowly on electrons. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna. You're gonna you need a sail actually to put outside your vehicle. A solar <laughs> sail would help. So um, I'm not happy. Yeah. Because my daughter's car deserves better, but more importantly, this deserves to lose. Um, so I'd like you to go back to the starting line in one minute. You want to do another drag race? Indeed. Okay, you got it. Let's do it. All things being equal, I'd have the new leaf. But not all things are equal. As such, I'm driving something else. So, uh, I wonder what Nathan has brought. He said he's got something uh, different. Look over your shoulder. For goodness sake, Nathan, you brought a Porsche? That's right, I brought a bazooka to a knife fight. I don't have like a triple secret sport mode here. <laughs> All right, well, let's do this. Actually here, Zach, why don't you give him the uh, solo DL so we get a zero to 62. If I do the math right, you could probably get uh, 20 of these Spark EVs for one of those, because that's 141,000. Yeah, but would you want to? <laughs> I'd rather have one of those. All right, try not to embarrass me too much. <laughs> I'm engaging sport mode. Sport mode engaged. Go! <laughs> Mother of God! Whoa! He's gone. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, there he is. 3.98. <laughs> oh, that's awesome! I think you crossed the line finish line before I left the starting line. <laughs> I was able to look at my watch and see what time it was before I, before you even came to the line. Uh, 3.98 is, is my uh, 0 to 60. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, oh my, oh my. You know, I gotta say, uh, I, and I've only driven in one of these one other time before, but I really, 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 really like it. Yeah, what's not to love? That thing is just a beast. It's quick, it's fast, and unlike a Tesla, it's well built. Well, I've proven once again that my Nissan Leaf cannot be beat. I think you've proven that when you bring a bazooka to a uh, leaf blower fight, <laughs> You're gonna win. Well guys, there's another goofy drag race in the can. Come back next time when we take two cars that sorta of, kinda of compete and well, well they don't compete, but we do a goofy drag race. See ya guys.